um, Thursday night about 6, 15, 6, 20, um, a young black female came to the door, rang the doorbell, knocked on the door. Um, Alyssa went to the door. She did, I cracked open the door just, you know, probably about six inches or so. And the young female said, can I use your phone? Of course, I said, no, you can't, you know, I don't have a phone. That's what I told her. I told her I didn't have a phone. She said, but it's cold out here. My car's broke down. Um, and I kind of peeped out, looked, you know, just opened the door probably a few more inches. And she, at that time, that's when the black male pointed the gun at my head, came busting through the door. The girl um, fell on top of me. And we fell down on the ground. Then he, I made it back up to my feet. He hit me and continued hitting me. Top, you know, the, all over my eye right here. <laughs> bruise. Um, I, I really did. I was trying to protect my kids. I was praying out loud, screaming, praying. Um, he told me several times he didn't want to hear that. He told me to shut up, but I continued praying. I was praying for, you know, my kids, for Chris. I was just, you know, hoping to stay alive. Blinds are closed, doors locked, dead bolted. You know, we have a dog now, although, you know, he's just a little puppy. But hopefully he'll get big and ferocious. It's just scary that people are just, will just chew somebody and the kids are home. All because they want a TV or they want, you know, a PlayStation. You know, I grew up less than a quarter mile down the road and I've never felt like I was scared to live, you know, around here anywhere. I've lived, you know, once. My mom and dad lived down the road, but I've lived with a friend once in downtown Charlotte, and I've still never felt, you know, scared like I do now. Uh, last night, he had one of his friends knock on the door, and I grabbed the kids up and took off running to the back bedroom. I was scared, and I had the nine and the one already dialed in the phone, so it was pretty. Look twice and think twice before you open your door, just because it's, you know, someone young and innocent, you know, looks innocent, they're not, you know.